Hoi, what you fucking think you're going on? Get your ass good. Has done. You were bickering with Bakugo because, of course, you were. You were always pretty. Always had the type of humor that was a little like cats and paper. A bit too rough, a touch too uneven around the edge. You naturally gravitated to someone like Bakugo in middle school who could give you as much as he could take. And as much as he grumbled and complained and denied, you knew he always liked people with a bit of a bite that didn't change their personality for the sake of others. There is nothing Bakugo despises more than a person who's a wet rag. So, here you are, years later, talking shit to the man like time has never passed. Your smile sharp enough to cut your cheeks as he growled and cursed and bears his teeth like a wild animal. You're calling him an old man and how can you not? Who the fuck goes to bed at 8 p.m. anymore? And he's calling you an unhealthy bitch, undisciplined and stupid and god, you haven't had this much fun in years. Do you think you can stay like this forever? Just warm and filled with laughter, lost in the little twitch back of your mouth give when he's trying not to smile? The fact that if he really didn't enjoy your company, you would have already left. He tells you to fuck off and you turn around not really intending to leave but knowing how much it gets his blood boiling when you turn your back to him. You can feel that tail shift in temperature when you spill on your heel, how the hair starts to thicken with the smell of burnt sugar. Oi! He grows, low and threatening, and he debates telling him that tone never really worked on you well, at least for its, its intended purpose. You're shivering alright, post racketing up a knot, but you're far from being intimidating. Where the fuck do you going as? Uh, as? Damn. You turn your head, curious, and his eyes glued to your ass. You feel your lips curl into a smirk. Here's the thing. You were always a skinny thing in middle school. Always a bit fragile looking. Puberty hit and you ballooned. But then, puberty hit and you ballooned up. Your hips grew like it was their mission in life to do so. Add to that your love for all things food, and you have an ass that has you jumping whenever you had to put your jeans on. Your thigh, the things cloud are made of. Fuck go. He purr, and his eyes jump to your face, the very tip of his hair pink. Were you just staring at my ass? Bakugo scroll up her lips curls away from his teeth. He showed his hand in his pocket. It's not my fault your ass cheeks are perfectly in my face. He snap his flesh is working and swear down his neck now, taking at the fucking damn room with the fucking thing. And you're off. You can't help it. It's from Deepin. The lady that protests too much, me think. You tease. All honey sweet tone and barely concealed mirth. If you squint hard enough, you can see a vein in his forehead pulsate. And I, and I think you need to shut the fucking mouth of yours. He said, and now, how can you not get close to him at that? But your eyes up at him with a siren sweet look. What, you gonna make me? You challenge, running a hand across his chest and, and oh, the way his eyes go red hot at that. Narrowing, dilating, darkening into pools of simmering lava. Bakuku never could resist a challenge. I'm not afraid of the dark.